This is Philemon. Philemon lived in Colossae. He was part of the early church there and even let other people worship Jesus in his house. That probably meant Philemon was pretty rich and respected, and he followed Jesus. But Philemon also owned slaves. Today we know slavery is wrong, but back then, some people thought slavery was normal. Well, Onesimus, who was one of the slaves in Philemon's house, escaped and ran away to freedom. Along the way, Onesimus met the Apostle Paul, who was famous for telling people the good news about Jesus, who came to set the captives free and to give them hope. We're not sure how long Onesimus was with Paul, but we do know that after spending time with Paul, Onesimus believed in Jesus too. Paul and Onesimus worked together and even became good friends. Eventually though, Paul thought it was time for Onesimus to go back to Philemon. And because Philemon was probably upset with Onesimus for running away to freedom, Paul decided to write Philemon a letter. Instead of sending Onesimus back just to become a slave again, Paul said, Onesimus is better than a slave. He is dear to you, not only as another human being, but as a brother in the Lord. Now this was probably really tough for Philemon to hear, and Philemon's friends might have thought he should punish Onesimus instead of welcoming him back. But Paul wrote, I'm sure you'll obey. I know you will do even more than I ask. Paul wanted Philemon to stop treating Onesimus as a slave and start treating him as a brother. That's because Philemon and Onesimus were both human beings made in God's image, and Jesus died for both of them. In God's eyes, we are all equally valued and loved. As Paul said in another letter, there is no longer slave or free, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. So if Philemon was going to follow Jesus, he will welcome his former slave back, not as a slave, but as family. And that's a little bit about Philemon.